Monday morning at 11, we're going to focus on your stock and portfolio queries. On Buy or Sell, we try and help you make a little bit more money. But how can you reach us if you do have a query? All you have to do is call us on the numbers we'll be showing you on the screens shortly. Alternatively, you can also SMS us at 56388. Or you can also log into our website, which is netvprofit.com. Leave us a quick message there. Or uh, the other option is to just directly email us at buy or sell at ndtv.com. Those are the numbers flashing on your screens. If you have a query, do call in. Let's welcome in our guests this morning, Mr. Sanjeev Paseen, who's uh, independent investment advisor, is joining in from Delhi and from Mumbai for and for a technical perspective. We have Mr. Hemant Kale, uh, founder of Zest Capital, joining in as well. Gentlemen, good morning. Hopefully you've had a good weekend. But, uh, you know, there's so much to take stock of in terms of uh, fundamental news cues here. In the middle of all of this, we have so many queries which are coming in. Harshvardhan is on the phone line with us right now with his portfolio. Let's try and help him out. Harshvardhan, good morning. Uh, what's your question today? Hi, morning. I just need some information on I mean, or some of my stocks. So just read it out. Okay. Uh, Ashok Leyland, I have 300 at 27.30. FBI, 2 at uh, 27, uh, 2178. Larson, 1 at 1353. Rand Taxi, 2 at 510. TCS, 1 at 1226. Kingfisher, 25 at uh, 1410. So on Kingfisher and Ashok Leyland, I have a long term view of maybe a year or so. But rest of the other stocks, my you know, time horizon is only two months. Just want to know how, where would I stand after two months or more. Two months. Okay, Harshvardhan, let's try and get your fundamental and technical perspective on the stocks that you hold. Mr. Basin, this mostly looks like a portfolio which has a Shok Leyland and Kingfisher. I mean, he's got one L&T, two Rand Baxi, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. But uh, a Shok Leyland, 300 stocks there and Kingfisher, you've never been too positive about Kingfisher. What do you, what do you suggest Harshvardhan do with these two stocks then? Yeah, you know, that's the lure. It's a, it's a value trap by buying a stock which has lost 80% of its market cap just because you see it in existence. But I would advise him, you know, sell on the rally, even if it's a small loss. If you want to stay in the airline business, then jet should be the natural corollary to be best. Or we are saying, you know, look at the PSU banks where we've been bullish in the last three to four months. And bond yields and interest rates are telling us that there is right. a lot of value there. So we Mr. Persin, I'm sorry, I'll have to interrupt you there uh, because we'll request you to wear the mic. In the meantime, let me just quickly get the views from Mr. Kale going on this. Uh, Mr. Kale, uh, at this point in time, you know what? I think we should just focus on uh, Ashok Leyland, Kingfisher because those are the two stocks which mainly he has a concentration of in his portfolio. Uh, what are the levels you'd suggest on Kingfisher a year from now, which is the target that Harshwardhan has and Ashok Leyland two months from now? Uh, well, Ashok Leyland can be a hold, uh, but Kingfisher should be an exit from the portfolio immediately. Uh, I think Ashok Leyland can, uh, if I see the charts, I find a lot of uh, support coming at around 22 levels. So I feel uh, investors are finding value at around 22. Uh, but whenever it crosses 30, maybe comes closer to 32 levels uh, or 34 levels, there is again a lot of selling pressure seen. So he can hold for a couple of months if uh, we are lucky and market rallies. I think uh, this stock will be able to uh, potentially close uh, above 30 and that is the time I think he should look at Ashok Leyland to exit. Uh, now coming to Kingfisher, I, uh, this Kingfisher chart looks to be very weak, averages are quite, uh, are low and you know falling downwards, they are negative, uh, doesn't show me any kind of investors faith or excitement in that stock at all. I think if he looks for uh, an airline stock, Jet Airways looks to be a better bet to uh, you know continue holding. The rest of the stocks, I think SBI, LNT, Ranbaxi and TCS can be a hold. Okay. All right, Mr. Kale, thanks. I'm going to get back to uh, Mr. Basin now on his views. Uh, do you also think that it's it should be a sell-on rallies for Ashok Leila? Uh, you know, I have a slightly contrarian view. I think uh, the rate he's bought it, it's been an underperformer in the whole auto basket. But I think there is a lot of value in the stock, stock. So, you know, closer to 25, in fact, we are, we are advising clients to buy that. Because we think the volumes play will not be there much longer. They will be strong volumes. Plus, we've seen aggressive uh, order booking or as far as Volvo and big trucks coming in from uh, some of the neighborhood countries. So, we think a uh, one-year target, you know, if he has the horizon, could be 35 plus. And, and also, you know, it's one of the best plays on uh, four-wheelers in the domestic market. 
on Kingfisher, like he's rightly said, Hemant, I think it's an exit on any rally. Get into a Jet Airways if you are insistent on airlines or a CAN Bank, Allahabad Bank can give you faster yields. SBI, LNT, Ranbaxy C are code and TCS are code portfolio stocks, but not necessarily they will be, you know, SBI, LNT might outperform, whereas Ranbaxy C, TCS could underperform in a high beta rally. Ranbaxy, C, most of the good news as far as Lipitor is already priced in close to 540, whereas TCS has always been a high defensive stock which might lag in the ne in the next run up which we could see okay so harshvardhan kingfisher was the only stock that you had a one year time frame on but both our analysts suggest no there's no point holding on to that stock any rally that you see just exit let's move on to the next query we have and this one is from izhar who's uh, on the phone line right now from delhi izhar hi good morning what's your question good morning ma'am yes please go ahead ask your question good morning ma'am Izar, hi, we can hear you. Please go ahead. You can ask your question. Our analysts are waiting by. Hello. Izar, hi, we have, we can hear you. Can you hear us? You can ask your question. Hello. There seems to be a slight problem with uh, the connection there. It could be that his television set is on, so he's hearing the echo that uh, uh, from the studio. But uh, he's written into us earlier, of course. So I'm going to just take his query. And uh, these are the stocks that he has in his portfolio. He's got Sipla, 200 shares, bought at uh, 230. 500 Bharti Airtel shares, bought at 330. 100 shares of Fortis, bought at 100 each. 200 Arvind, bought at 79 rupees. 250 shares of Hindalco, bought at 130 rupees each. And 100 shares of Adani Power that he has bought at 83. Uh, unfortunately, we're not able to get across to his hour. We don't know what his time frame is or what his risk appetite is. But uh, Mr. Basin, just, you know, overall as a look in this portfolio, do you think this is fairly balanced, except perhaps for Adani Par, which mostly always comes in as a sell call? Yeah, but I think he he's uh, sorely missing the point of financials being a part of his portfolio. And that also, there is no financial in the sense. So, we think he needs to rejig it. Bar uh, Sipla is a quality stock, one of the solid pharma plays. It's a consistent performer. So, stay put. Bharti is a good, is one of the best plays on the local telcos. But I think it might underperform in the recent rally because of government directive, policy and too much of hedging as far as the rupee goes. Uh, Fortis is again a sell on rally, get into a doctor ready. Arvind has been a consistent performer, but I think uh, the, 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 the icing was the sale of its real estate arm, which is not be, you know, which has been on the tender road. So I think you should sell that in a rally, get out of that, get into some of the quality banks, which we've been suggesting, SBI, Indusind, CanBank. Hindalco again uh, may be stuck at the higher end and it's you know been an underperformer in the recent metal sell-off as we've seen the dollar weaken against a basket of currencies and commodities. So if you have a one-year